you got Will Smith. He puts out an apology video four months after the fact. I mean, I know I'm late on this, but I was just thinking about this the other day. Like, this is a damage control video. I mean, I don't even acknowledge this as an apology. So I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. I mean, I mean, this is four months later, and he's dressed like he's headed out for a round of golf. I mean, three camera angles. I mean, this is, this is like Bill Clinton's Monica Lewinsky apology. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. I promise you I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. I must put it right. And I am prepared to do whatever it takes to do so. This isn't how people communicate. This whole like sending things out online and writing Instagram posts. I mean, like, dude, it's like you're just burying yourself. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, yeah, there's, there's just no. I mean, you're living with the villain from Snow White. About Oscar night, my deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. And, then she, and she gets on her show talking about, we're healing, we're healing. Anyone that talks like that, like, I don't want them in my life. That is the most phoniest language. It's healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. At this point, Will Smith should find the guy that Walter White used to erase his identity and move to Alaska. Just start over, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, You're burying yourself. Stop it. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> <laughs> These people.